designed in California, CNC Factory's fifth generation CNC machines are a true feat of engineering. Boost your production with fewer manpower, less maintenance, and absolutely no thinking. Visit cncfactory.com for more information. Welcome again. We are so honored to have you here at the IWF Connect. My name is Chris Corrales with CNC Factory. Today, we're going to be talking about the working cell. Afterwards, we're going to have a Q&A. And for any questions that I'm not, I'm not able to get to, we're going to follow it up after the presentation. Let's get started. Hello, and thank you for visiting CNC Factory at the IWF Connect. My name is Chris Corrales, and I am so excited to share the power and ease of use of the new fifth generation working cell or lean manufacturing. Doing more with less, less labor, less overhead, and superior quality. Basically, making it easy and taking the experience needed and thinking out of the equation. Now, in this IWF Connect exhibit, we are using the Python XPR, upgraded with robotic labeling and marking. You're going to see what one employee can do in the new generation as the Python automatically loads and positions the material. Again, no heavy attributes from the operator. Fifth generation has tons of driverless capabilities and communicates with the operator, allowing the experienced or highly skilled labor to be moved to more profitable tasks. The operator can select one sheet or several sheets to process with a touch of a finger. In the new fifth generation driverless operations allows your CNC to do all the thinking with upgraded robotic labeling. All your parts can have job identification, cabinet number, part name, barcode, and more applied robotically, removing the time wasting stop sign. Another huge production booster is using Delucci vision marking tools. Your CNC will mark components with secondary production instructions, such as what side to edge band or what side to install hidden fasteners. The operator goes from CNC directly to secondary production. This removes another stop sign and eliminates the human errors associated with trying to mark parts correctly. No thinking and no mistakes. Now, in just a minute, we're going to see 5G lean manufacturing with only one operator in this working cell. Fifth generation allows this non-stop sheet production, freeing up the operator, or again, taking the thinking out of the equation, as the Python will continue processing material until all sheets are finished. The operator will simply select the working files or cabinets from the built-in library and go. Now, let's break down another stop sign that has been removed with driverless functions. After the first sheet is cut, the Python will unload all the cut parts. During this, we'll clean the spoil board with pressurized air and dust collection. Then, automatically load and start cutting the next sheet. In the past, operators would have to stop after each sheet, sweep and blow off the dust on the machine. Now all this is done within 30 seconds and again eliminating the 10 minute operator stop sign. What used to take two or three experienced operators now only takes one in the new working cell. All the cut parts with instructions are delivered to the operator in manageable cut parts. Now this is where the magic begins. The Python has done all the thinking, loading and unloading for the operator making him a CNC rock star and ready for secondary production. All parts are perfectly identified and ready for post-production. Removing critical thinking and human errors in secondary production is key. All this is being done, including edge banding and hidden fastener insertion and material placement, all done with no mistakes and ready for assembly or flat packing. You can also see where when needed, a second driverless CNC can be added to the current working cell still with one operator. Doing more with less 
you quickly see the ROI of lean manufacturing with new fifth generation working sales. The operator is not taxed and can easily be replaced with another operator during his or her lunch times or being absent. This working cell also includes easy, fast assembly and flat packing capabilities using hidden fasteners. The single operator has the time to process automatic insertion into the cut parts with identifying marks. And again, no thinking and a perfect production using the Scorpion LDR. Post-COVID has sped up the need for easy automation and robust capabilities with a limited workforce. During this video, the operator will be producing a flat pack or ready to assemble cabinet every four minutes. During a seven hour production cycle, that's over a hundred cabinets. And yes, I said seven hours. Why not let them go home early? My name is Chris Corrales and I wanna thank you for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Now, I'm looking forward to answering some of the questions and I've already gotten one earlier, and that was about the homing of the Python XPR. In fifth generation, there is no homing necessary for the user or the operator on a daily basis. In fact, you can unplug it from the wall, plug it back in, and the machine still knows where it's at. That's driverless technology. That's fifth generation. Let's see, uh, what can, great question. The what CNC controller, we use the Syntec robotic control system capable of up to 17 accesses. So in the Python XPR, again, a homeless machine, never have to home or, or daily calibrate. And it gives us the PC front end capability, which allows us to virtually run your machine. We can log into your machine. We can control it. And it takes our lifetime support to a whole new level as we're actually, it's like us being right next to you. We can hold your hand, show the operator exactly what's going on. And in, and in fact, it has a digital camera so we can, we can actually see the machine along with operating it. Thank you for that question. Let's see here. Um, great question. We'll only load a sheet. Okay, so the machine, a lot of your older technology machines, you can load one file in ML, the uh, Python, I'm reading the question here, can load, so yes. The question was, can you load more than one file at a time and how many? So the older technology, you'll take your G code file and you'll load it into your system and then execute that file, one sheet or one file at a time. In the new fifth generation working list on the Python XPR, you can load as many files as you want, basically a complete job. So from sheet one to sheet 20, it's gonna start and continue or a continuous operation until the project is done. Again, allowing the user or the operator to be free from that demanding file checking, making sure that they've checked all their files and making sure they've done all their files, it's a nonstop operation. Great question. Let's see if there's another one here. All right. So while I'm looking, I'm reading here another question. Another one's coming from our social media. And that was the question, how many sheets can you load? Well, the machine is designed basically to load 40 three quarter inch or three quarter inch material, be it four by eight or, or five by 10. With that in mind, half inch is gonna be much more, one inch is gonna be a little bit less, but basically what most people would consider a unit of three-fourths material. And your hydraulic automatic loading system can handle 4,500 pounds of, of, of weight. In addition, it is fully automatic and communicates with the machine to the point that it will continue to rise to the level ready for the next sheet to be grabbed. So there's no, again, human intervention or, or operator intervention 
on the material on the hydraulic loading table. See? Jim, great question, US made. You know, we have a lot of facets from around the world on our machines. From our factory in Santa Ana, California, we have our own fabrication facility. So some of our frames from ground up are built 100%. Other frames we bring in from other parts in order to save some of our actually 8,000 pound frames to save our customers some money. However, if same US made, we have some of the best components, what we consider the best components in the world. You know, coming from countries like Germany for our helical rack, um, Italy for our HSD spindles, they really are considered, even though it's not a US manufactured part, the Italian HSD spindles and drill blocks are considered the best in class and, and they do have the market share. In addition, going back to Germany, we use our Ingus wiring. We get that, and actually that comes from, from Florida. However, Ingus is, is a German company. Our servo systems, and they are self-communicating. They do align themselves continuously. Those are from Japan. Those are Yasuskawa. So bringing the parts across the U.S. and across the world really enables us to give the best-in-class machine and then at the same point keeping it affordable reliable which really stands behind our lifetime support jim thank you for asking Let's see here and i got another one from social media and this this one is about um changing the zoning valves on the vacuum cable now on some of your and i'm just going to go back to some of your older cnc machines what you're going to see is valves on the side of your machine and the operator has to in a, it's a little bit on the taxing side has to each time run to the machine and turn off the master vacuum flow to load or unload a sheet of material and remember how to or remember to turn that back on that's huge when it's eliminated for example on the python xpr it will automatically turn off and turn on your vacuum flow for the operator. Again, freeing them up mentally and physically for secondary production. But what's even more important is your zoning. So in the past, operators would have to know their zoning configurations with those levers. That, again, is a thing of the past with fifth generation. On the touch screen, they can decide or choose their zoning. So if they're if they want to run a, a, a three foot by three foot piece and they just want zone number one on, it's a touch of a finger. And that's as simple as that. In addition, some of the larger machines, like the, a five by 10, for example, customers are still wanting to load four by eight material or again, five by 10. At your touchscreen control, you're going to decide either four by eight mode or five by 10 mode the Python XPR will automatically load four by eight and change the zonings respectively. A minute later, they wanna push the five by 10 button, all the zones for the vacuum will automatically change. And at that point, we'll load and unload your five by 10 material. Okay, so we are getting close to the end here and I just wanna repeat again, great questions, I have great audience. I'm overwhelmed and I thank you. Uh, if we don't get to the question, either on social media or here on the chat, we are going to, and we can uh, continue after the presentation. And I thank you so, so much for that. And again, it's been an honor for you to be here. Let's see if we can get one more question in. Do Let's see, do we have any more on the chat? Here's another one. Okay, that one we already answered. Um, Mark, thank you. And yeah, that was a zoning question. So thank you for that. Okay. So in end, uh, again, I wanna thank you so much. It's been an honor for you to be here. My name is Chris Corrales with CNC Factory. We look forward to talking with you after the presentation. Bye-bye now.